Security breach. Please change your passwords. Sorry. Sir Nigel Bickleworth on Two Point Radio. I hear that another university has opened its doors to the aspiring bookworms and lab rats of Two Point County. Listeners may remember that I don't like new universities because they're not old and therefore not any good. If they were, they'd have opened a long time ago. 
That's called logic, students. Though I don't suppose you'd know. Frequently asked questions. Yes, we are testing you. I can't say that I understand our county's recent fascination with opening pop-up universities on a weekly basis, but it seems appropriate to commemorate the opening of yet another fun-time house of real good learning. I thought we'd talk about the past, memories and nostalgia. The feelings that things used to be in some incalculable and all-encompassing sense better. But why do we feel that way? Are we wearing rose-tinted glasses? Perhaps. Did everything used to be better? Probably. Students are reminded to be in two places at once. End of year is approaching. It's too late to start trying.
end-of-year results are now available. No unauthorised panicking. I used to love taking the train, the steam, the crisp sandwiches, watching people's luggage fall. Well, those were the days. Sadly, I now find the experience of using our county's rail services is missing one rather vital component. I find that everyone seems all too engrossed by their mobile phones. Now, I have no interest in talking to anyone, but what I did like was ignoring people. It's just no fun if they do it for you. Welcome to the start of a new year. I'll be your host. Hello. Welcome, new students. We're more afraid of you than you are of us.
going to do with my life? I just don't know. Orb. Huh? What? Come to an Orb Foundation Learning Center and replace your mind with the power of the Orb. Oh, amazing. I'll do that then. Thanks. Janitor required in bathroom. recently stolen back to the days of my youth. Yes, after inadvertently trapping myself in the airing cupboard, what did I come across but my old wooden tennis clogs? It had been too long since I thought about my days on the university tennis team. It was said that the mere sound of our carved shoes were enough to cause eruptions of rosy cheeks and giggling on campus. Although some believed that it had something to do with our shorts. Hmm. Education is non refundable.
Whatever happened to wooden tennis shoes anyway? The visual spectacle of tennis used to be accompanied by a positive symphony. A sound like a company of coconuts dancing on a ballroom floor. Only wooden tennis clogs can produce such an enchanting auditory experience. But what do they wear now? Ghastly, squeaky things. And for what? Added grip? Light weight? It's practically cheating. gives you a bright future and clouds it with debt. The rise of the synthetic shoe is not confined to the tennis court. Sadly, I'm sure many long-time listeners know that I visit Confetto's Cobblers once a year and treat myself to a pair of brogues or loafers if I'm feeling scandalous. On my most recent visit, however, I was horrified to find that my dear cobbler had been replaced with an establishment by the name of the Shoe Zoo. But can one truly describe their collection of footwear as a menagerie without possessing a single pair of brogues? I think not. Hard work may or may not pay off.
Olympics are reminded that there's no such thing as free time. Remember the start of the show? Remember when we were going to talk about nostalgia? Oh, what a paradise it seems. And yet, here we stand, talking about training shoes. Another vision gone awry over the savage passing of time. <gasps> How fitting. How dreadfully sad. Things used to be better, dear listeners. How could you know for sure? Well, my show is over. They can't be getting better, can they? Students are reminded that some grades are personal. system.
Stupid questions will make you look stupid. to Campus Radio, the sound of student life in Two Point County. I'm Felicity Bellbottoms. Now, everyone has been talking